You must have heard about OpenAI unveiling their latest model, GPT-40, a massive improvement over GPT-4, with better performance and faster speed. The best part is that you can use GPT-40 right away in chat GPT across all devices, be it mobile, desktop app, or PC. OpenAI, in the official blog post, has confirmed the immediate availability of GPT-40 to chat GPT Plus and team users, in addition to the free ones. However, it will be released for enterprise customers later. Even the plans window in ChatGPT has been updated to include the latest model. It now lists limited access to GPT-40 under the free plan, up to 5x more messages for GPT-40 under the plus plan, and higher limits for GPT-4, GPT-40 under the team plan. So, it's evident that the model is available across the three, albeit with limited access. How can I use GPT-40? One. On the ChatGPT website, if you are eligible for the model, OpenAI will send a prompt asking you to switch to GPT-40. I, being a free user, receive the prompt and quickly switch to the latest model. On my end, I see a few changes. Now, instead of listing the GPT-3.5 and GPT for models, it just says ChatGPT and ChatGPT+. The URL, of course, has changed from chatgpt.openai.com to chatgpt.com. To verify if I was on GPT-40, I asked ChatGPT a quick question and then clicked on the Change Model option at the end of the response. To my surprise, I was using GPT-40 on ChatGPT, and that too as a free user. On another account, though, it still didn't offer GPT-40, confirming that this is a phased rollout. The interface was the same as earlier, except for the new URL. If you were a free ChatGPT user, open the website and see if you were prompted to try out the new model. For Plus and Team users, the GPT-40 should appear alongside the other models. 2. ChatGPT mobile app. Once you have switched to GPT-40 on the web, the changes will reflect for the account in the ChatGPT iOS app. To verify which model you are currently on, Simply tap on the ChatGPT option at the top, and the current model will be listed at the top. For others who haven't yet switched to GPT-40, the model should be listed alongside GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 in the dedicated menu near the top right. So, you can always make the switch from there, given the model is available for your account. 3. ChatGPT Desktop App OpenAI has released a ChatGPT app for Mac OS, and if you have already got that, it's slightly trickier to use GPT-40, but nonetheless, shouldn't take more than a few minutes. First, when you open the ChatGPT website, it will show you a download button to get the app. From there on, you will be able to change the GPT model. Some users also downloaded the app from third-party sources, as shown in several tutorials, but I would recommend waiting for the app to be available for your account. Even downloading it from other sources doesn't whitelist your account. If it's not yet available, you will get an error. Besides, do not forget that the rollout is gradual, so it might take a while for GPT-40 to be available for use. In case you are on Microsoft Azure, GPT-40 is now available in Azure AI. What do you think about the latest GPT-40 model? Share with a comment.